in honor of St. Patrick's Day, 2015. Dublin, by Lewis McNeese, read by Mary MacDonald Lewis. Gray brick upon brick, declamatory bronze on somber pedestals, O'Connell, Grattan, Moor, and the brewery tugs and the swans on the balustraded stream, and the bare bones of a fanlight over a hungry door, and the air soft on the cheek, and the porter running from the taps with a head of yellow cream, and Nelson on his pillar watching his world collapse. This never was my town. I was not born or bred nor schooled here, and she will not have me, alive or dead, but yet she holds my mind with her seedy elegance, and her gentle veils of rain, and all her ghosts that walk, and all that hide behind her Georgian facades, the cat calls and the pain, the glamour of her squalor, the bravado of her talk. The lights jig in the river with a concertina movement, and the sun comes up in the morning like barley sugar on the water, and the mist on the Wicklow hills is close, as close as the peasantry were to the landlord, as the Irish to the Anglo-Irish, as the killer is close one moment to the man he kills, or as the moment itself is close to the next moment. She is not an Irish town, and she is not English, historic with guns and vermin, and the cold renown of a fragment of church Latin, of an oratorical phrase, but, oh, the days are soft, soft enough to forget the lesson better learnt, the bullet on the wet streets, the crooked deal, the steel behind the laugh, the four courts burnt. Fort of the Dane, garrison of the Saxon, Augustan capital of a Gaelic nation, appropriating all the alien brought. You give me time, poor thought, and by a juggler's trick you poise the toppling hour. O oh, grayness, run to flower, gray stone, gray water, and brick upon gray brick.